Hey guys, it's Dr. Sam Robbins and welcome back to my video series about hair loss and imbalances in your hormones levels. And this is part six. It's going to be about thyroid and we're almost done. Now, in my last video, I talked about stress and cortisol levels causing a decrease in your testosterone levels and also causing inflammation being one of the primary causes of hair loss. And I ended the video saying that the increase in cortisol also causes negative changes in your thyroid gland. Now this video will be short because the good news is that as you balance out the hormones that I've mentioned in this video series, such as increasing testosterone levels while decreasing female and stress hormones, you'll indirectly and naturally improve your thyroid levels. Now the problem with thyroid is that too low being hypothyroid or too high being hyperthyroid can both cause hair loss. However, typically the problem is more low thyroid. Also, you can be normal low, which is really not good. You want to be normal high. That's the optimal levels for health and aging and also hair loss. And this will give you basically more energy. It will increase your metabolism, help you lose weight, and slow down any hair loss and actually help grow head hair. Again, improving all these hormones that I mentioned earlier will typically fix your thyroid levels. However, one thing you want to avoid is being on very low carbohydrate diets for too long and also eating soy products. You don't want to do any of these because both will kill your thyroid and soy products also increase estrogen levels. Again, two things you do not want. Okay, so we're almost done. The seventh and final video is not about hormones, but about improving your blood flow and oxygen to all the cells in your body, which means better hair growth, and also bigger, fuller erections. However, before going to the next video, don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you haven't already, because you don't want to miss any important updates. And please leave your questions and comments below. All right, so let's continue to the last and final video in this series about improving your blood flow and oxygen levels.